All right, we're, we're back now, and it's been about a week since we filmed, and I wanna be really transparent with what's happened in between now, now and, and back when we, we last filmed. Um, I probably worked with Bella four or five different days specifically on kind of the routine that we're gonna do. Maybe not five days, but at least three or four. And Ben's been back to college now, so this is Thursday of the week. He, what, were you here last Friday? Did, did we film last Friday? I think so. So I think that was the last time we filmed. Now I went through the weekend, which I actually was home last weekend. It doesn't happen very often, but I was. And I worked with um, all of the dogs, um, including Bella, on this. And then um, I'm going to say Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of this week, um, I got sessions in with her. So probably four or five different sessions. Um, I've noticed some things. I haven't really, there's some new things that I want to do with her. Um, and I purposely didn't because I wanted Ben to be here for it when we do. But I, I want to show you the progression. Um, in the, the downside of it is, is you're not going to see the day-to-day -day improvement. But prior to Ben leaving last week, um, we had been filming the, a very similar pattern of this, this session or drill that we're doing. Um, and we were getting better and we were seeing some improvement. And so I want to catch you up with what we're, where we're at right now with it. Um, again, our objectives or our goals are, are what we were tr trying to get after was get her to go back to the same spot multiple times in a row. We were running into a long time ago this issue of sending her across that field into cover. The first one she'd go really well, second and third she'd hang up and hunt short and she just wouldn't take the line, she wouldn't push through. Um, there were things that probably caused it. I probably went too fast. Um, I, uh, she has accelerated through a lot of stuff so I assumed you know she's just capable of doing it and I ran into reality of you know that she's got her short falls as well. She's, she's not human but she's dog and and it's I can't just take big huge jumps with her. I think it's very very similar to what a lot of people run into is their dog does really well and then all of a sudden they just continue to add stuff to it and they don't recognize or realize when they run into an issue. We ran into an issue. So I had to kind of assess it and break it down and figure out why. And I think it's because I went too fast. I tried to do too much. Um, tried to take too big of a step. So one of the things that we did was we started making it visual for her. Instead of hiding them in cover and sending her back to it, we, we started making it visual. She actually sees the dummies. She goes back two, three, four times. I started adding a dummy. Now we're doing four in a, in a row, um, going to the same spot. The other thing that we're doing is um, I'm using channels. Um, I'm using a snowmobile trail is what I did. I took my snowmobile out and I ran the snowmobile up and down the snow to make a path. It makes it very easy for her to run that path over and over and over again. And all we're doing is we're not necessarily truly getting the result that I want, which is point her in any direction, send her and she goes. We're pointing her in the direction with a lot of help. And that path is giving her a lot of help and it's to develop this repetition and this confidence in her of when I point out to go and we're just giving her some training wheels for it. We're making it easy and having it be visual. Now this spot, so we started doing that over not but 100 yards away from here and we're going to go back to that spot. We used the trees that pinched tight and we pushed her through that essential cover um, with the help of the road. This spot is where we're running some doubles and I have found that she does very well in the, on the cover. She, she remembers that one a lot better. She remembers pushing into the cover. Um, this one, we, st we started out, and I was starting to pitch it into the cover there beyond the pheasants, and we added the pheasants in because that's a distraction that she had to work past. It just made it a little more difficult. So we're basically doing a very similar drill in two different spots. She's getting really good at, it at the next spot, and I'm gonna show you that. But our cycle, our training cycle here, is gonna be we're gonna set up to do this one with a double. We're gonna do that one with the single, and probably just, well, it's not singles, but they're, there's four dummies that are laddered out that we'll send her to. And then I'm gonna add another part to this session um, that we started doing the last couple days and I'll explain to that when we get there but so w before anything else happens we are going to work on some foundational stuff we can't 
we got to continue to get better at the heel work, um, the footwork, the sit to the whistle. She's getting really nice to the sit to the whistle. These are all things that I want need to get Ben back for and Ben and I need to talk about because we're going to start handling her a little bit. We're going to start back casting her. We're going to stop her to a whistle and send her back. Um, we started doing some of that stuff and you, if you follow us on Instagram, you'll have seen some of my stories where we're kind of doing some drills and having her hunt off of a remote sit. Um, it's similar to the idea of where we're going to start casting her off of a remote sit, but we'll get into that a little bit more too. But I just think she is to the point where we're going to start adding some stuff. Um, but before we add stuff, we're going back and firming up and making baby steps. So before I was adding stuff and I was adding stuff in big chunks and now I've hit some, some, some roadblocks. So now we're just going to add little chunks, little chunks, little chunks, little chunks. So we'll start out with her just with a little bit of heel work. I also noticed that as soon as I start talking to the camera, like this is just a sense that I'm feeling right now. The last four days that I trained with her are much more relaxed and she's done very well. Um, I get a little bit fast paced because I don't want to bore you. I, I worry about these videos getting too long. I worry about trying to communicate everything that's in my mind to the camera. Um, that's not something that I do normally. So that's an added challenge to filming these series because I'm talking and explaining everything that's in my head because you don't know what's in my head. And so I'm thinking all the time when I'm training and of why and what I'm gonna do. And I'm trying to express that to you so you get why and what I'm doing. It makes things a little bit more intense for the dog. Cause I'm over here really talking about a lot of stuff really fast, trying to keep it going. And at the same time, she does a lot better when I just slow the hell down. When I just take my time, when I'm not in a rush to get a session in, when I'm not in a rush to get this done to make sure that we keep the videos between 15 to 20 minutes. I, I, the, the sessions have gone longer the last couple days and we've done maybe equal or less things during them. And it's because we just slow down. And so I have to tell myself and be a reminder to just slow down a little bit with her. So, um, they might get a little bit longer and that's just the way it's going to be. And, um, I also think that that's valuable because it's reality and you got to see that as well. So we're going to start out with this heel work with her. Um, I'm just simply warming her up, connecting. Um, obviously we're on lead right now. I've been working her off lead. I would say 85% of the time. And of that 85% of the time, maybe half of it is with the adjustable lead collar. The rest is without any collar at all. I have seen a very measurable improvement when it comes to some of this foundational stuff. Her, and you can just see her pace today is nice. She's, she's not done anything all day today, but lay around the house on place. And she's, she's gotten a pretty nice pace here today. Girl, heel. Come on. Come on. She's really settling into a little pocket there, position wise. Ah, 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 ah. See her want to play with that? That's enough, heel. Good girl. Come on. She's getting a lot better at this. We've been working on this a lot. Good, heel. Good, heel. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good, heel. Come on, good, good. Good, good dog. Good dog, that's that no, that's that no cheating. Don't change your pace, keep walking at the same pace, peep the whistle. If the whistle's stronger than the temptation to stay with me. Have been, I feel like we've made some improvements with steadiness. We've been throwing some denials for her. I just, you can just see it in her body right now. She's much more relaxed. And so as, as I've seen these changes with her maturing, 
kind of growing up a little bit. I've talked about it the last couple weeks. That these are some of the results of that maturity. The tense, the tension in a situation where I start throwing some tempting dummies over the top of her. Used to get these little reactions from her where she'd kind of pounce and you could see her kind of start to shake and she, she'd get a little footsie with her front feet. And you look at her right now and she's just very calm. She's just, she's just okay with being there. And so I'm gonna throw one here that's, that I wouldn't have been able to do two weeks ago. Very good. Here, very good. Sit. And so I'm seeing this, I'm seeing this enhanced levels of control come from her. And so the value in that control is I don't have to worry about a lot of little things anymore that I used to. I used to worry about some of the, the idea of her boiling over, the idea of her being in the right position. I, to, I used to have to pay a lot of attention to that and make sure that we weren't getting into trouble with it. So now I feel like we're not, we're not struggling with that nearly as much. And so the good part for me is I can focus on other stuff. Heel. Good. Come on. Come on. And that other stuff is the the focus of the drills. You know, these drills are set up to we're trying to line her out confidently. So I'm gonna come here. Real visual. Watch. Yeah. Distraction of the birds flying. No problem. I have sep separated. I got in a little bit. I got a little bit. And so this last one, we're gonna pitch down, lay it flat. A lot of times she watches and sees them visually from a long distance and she'll come flying by and she'll catch that one that's laying on the ground because she doesn't see it. But she runs over the top of it and she notices it and she picks it up. And I tell her how good she is. I don't have a problem with the dog to a degree, I don't have a problem with the dog being conscious of hunting its way out. I'm not worried about, I'm not, I don't field trial dogs. So I like a dog that has it in the back of their mind to keep an eye out for stuff as they go out. Because if we shoot a bird and, and it hits the ground and I send her on it, it might not be dead, it might move. And so if it, it ends up 30 yards closer than where it went down and I sent her to where it went down and she comes across it, I don't want her to ignore it and run to the spot where she saw it go down and end up having to track it. Pick it up, if it's there, pick it up. Bring it back. Yeah. So to start this out, we're gonna come back and we've slowly added distance to it. We're gonna move out just about the entire run here, distance wise and send her back on him. And the, what we're doing with this sp spot is we're building this double in. So the double, 180 degree double is going back into the bush. And she's had a, she's done a lot better job of remembering that. Now I've not run doubles into the bush, so it's not, I've not put multiple dummies in the back in here. We've always run one. And so eventually we'll put more than one in here too and we'll send her in. But this is a different element. This is pushing into a pretty good amount of cover beyond this field. 
The other thing we gotta be careful of too is, you can tell we've, we've run this for a few days in a row as this trail gets iced up. We gotta be careful on their feet. So sometimes we're gonna have to move locations, which is, which is valuable in itself. Now I go with a feathered bumper in here. Heel. Feathered bumper in there, a little more scent for her. That one she will use her nose for. But changing locations is important to keep them honest and not memorizing the situation. I do think there's value in them memorizing stuff to learn a skill, but then we want to transplant it into a new spot so that the skill carries over to new new areas. And so that's important, but it's also important because as we turn this into an ice track, it's pretty hard on their feet. Heel. I've been working spry on some really long ones um, and it's gotten real icy and just yesterday, by the end, her, her paws were a little bloody and. So I'm gonna have to change that, change that setup up. It's just a little hard on her feet. Now, I'm gonna heal her out, and I want Ben to come close, because the one thing I'm finding too is the importance with her in reading her before sending. If you watched our Cody Go Back series, Cody was another dog that um, it was real important to read her body language before sending her. If you didn't send her at the right time, if you sent her when she wasn't ready, it didn't work. And if you if you read the body, you had to make adjustments. She's the same way. Some dogs, it really doesn't matter that much. I have some dogs that I can just, I don't even have to, I can just say their name and they go. Um, some dogs, I really have to look for little, little tiny hints. Her Cody used to drop her head. Cody used to, she'd be over here and then all of a sudden, she, she she just lower her head a little bit. As soon as she did that, I knew she was locked in, and I I would send her. Her she leans forward. So I'm looking for that. Now she's a little distracted. So as Ben moves, I'm not going to even think about lining her because she's got to settle in. If there's noises over there, she's moving. She's focusing over there. I need her looking down. Now the hard part is, is those dummies are hard to see. They don't stand out real well right now. Even the ones I stood up. Watch. Bella. Bella, go back. I, and I don't know why I did that. <laughs> she, if you watch it, she never moved. She looked. Heel. She looked. Sit. But she didn't commit. Heel. Watch. 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 Bella, go back. See how she leaned in. Now I'm looking for her to do that. Good. Good girl. She's still not 100%. She's not running 100%. It's hard to see right there. Good girl. There's where that came into play. She ran past the first one, picked, went to pick the second one up, saw the first one, came back to the first one. I spread them out to avoid switching. I'm not gonna get on her real hard about it. That's not the drill right now. Here, here, hold, good. Right here, right here, come on, right here. Come on, come on. I should've done a little bit better job of getting her into the front. Good, I wanna get her into a little front, better front delivery. Good, good. Nothing has changed. With our pace of taking it away from her, she can hold it nicely for me. Dead. Good. Good. Heel. 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 Come on. Come on. Heel. Sit. Good. She probably would have went all right there. Good. Heel. I'm going to take a step forward. Sit. Watch. Bella. Go back. Good. 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 Good girl. It was really slight. 
She just leaned in. Good girl. Here. Now that's the worst switching I've seen out of her. So we're probably gonna have to address that. I saw her switch a little bit on me in the last couple days because I piled some dummies closer together. And so just doing that has created a problem. Good, 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 did. So I might spread them out a little bit on my next set too. Here, 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 sit, sit, good. Good. Watch. Watch. I wasn't going to get on her any more than that, but she responded, which is good. Here, here, sit. Good. 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 Watch. Bella, go back. Go back. Good. Good. Good girl. I'm almost getting her excited to the point where she wanted to break there, which she did break, which again is a first. She hasn't, we haven't seen that. Good girl. Good dog. Today she's got uh, this thought of going back to pick up another one. Come on, that's a good dog. Good girl. Which is the first time I've seen this. Good dog. And I kicked myself because the other day I put dummies, good, I put dummies real close together, relatively close together. Dead, good girl, dead, dead, heel, heel. And that alone created this little habit of hers to want to switch. One day of it is all it took. Heel, heel, sit, sit, good, good, good. Now there's one more out there. Good. Watch. 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 Heel. Heel. Sit. 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 Good. Watch. Watch. Bell, go back. Go back. Go back. Good. Go back. Good. Good. And I'm going to use that good to push her. Good. Good girl. Good girl. That's a good dog. Good girl. Now, that one was, that certainly wasn't perfect. Good dog. But it was better than the hang ups that we had. The problems that we had weren't the same issues we used to have. Very good. Very good. Right here. Come on. Come on. Right here. Right here. Very good. Sit. Sit up. Sit up. Good dog. Dead. Good. Good. We're right back. Good. Very nice. Right here. Right here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. Dead. Good dog. Very good. Heel. Heel. Ben, I'm going to have you come over here. Now, this is that long memory for the single. Sit. So I'm going to just finish this out. Good. Good. Watch. Watch. Bella, go back. Go back. Good. Good girl. Good. That's where she's got to push into that cover. Very good. I'm going to back up and add a little distance. You'll notice that was a much shorter retrieve. She's going to have to hunt a little bit. Good dog. Took a little time for her to find it. That was a pretty long delay. Good dog. Very good. But she took the line really nice. Hold, hold, hold. 
you see me scooch over, I'm gonna cut her right off. Good, right here. I don't want her going by me. Good, good, dead, dead heel. Very nice, very nice. Right here, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, 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 here. Sit, sit. Now, it was better. It was better because we didn't run into the problem of lining her out and hunting short or lining out and quitting, not, not going. So that's the, that's the goal, that's what we're working towards, sit down. That's the goal, that's what we're working towards. What we saw was a few other things came up. Switching, um, completely my fault. Uh, earlier this week, put dummies in a big circle they weren't far enough apart sent her back to the same spot she picked she she was sh she shopped she oh there's one oh there's one oh there's one oh there's one and i'm on the other end calling her she switched a couple times now that's transferring to this that's why i just i shake my head and i go man that's my fault i shouldn't have piled like that um that's why i spread them out I ladder him out. Eliminate the chance for her to give her a bad habit. Um, I'll have to fix it. And so we'll, we'll fix it later. I'm not gonna fix it in the drill right now. We'll fix it where we get her to pick a dummy, short distance, and we get her back to us. And if she goes to switch, I'll get on her. But I'm not gonna do it right now because we just did a, a session here that was the, designed to line her out. And the last thing I'm gonna do is turn it into a, a session of negative stuff. This is all gonna be positive stuff. The reward is gonna be because you went and did things right. And it's gonna be because I didn't screw up and send you at the wrong time. The only time that, that there was an issue there was my first send, and I don't know why I sent her. If the camera was, wasn't here, I went to send her. But for some reason, I felt this pressure of, you gotta send her because everyone's watching. And so I have to get, get past that myself. It definitely changes the scenario when the camera's here. Um, makes it a lot harder for me because I just, I, I lose the patience of just making sure it's perfect before we do it. So now we're gonna move, we're gonna go over and we're gonna reset this up in that spot that we've been doing it. And I, my hope is to show you what improvement we've made there. That spot, we've been very good. This spot, we're getting better. The other thing too is we've been doing this now for a week and a half and I'm about to the point where I wanna stop for a little bit and do something else. Cause I also think that we can bore her a bit. So we're gonna, and I'm gonna show you one of the things that we're gonna do at the end is just that. So I'm gonna just take the chance here I'm gonna change this a little bit, give her a little bit more freedom. Heel. Without the collar. Good. Heel. Come on. We're working a lot more into her, turning into her and her footwork is getting much, much better. It's all control stuff. So having that control is what's allowing me to do more things, more complicated things, more difficult things out in the field. Come on. Come on. Good. Ah, ah, ah. Terrible turn. Come on. Much better. Much better. Come on. Good girl. Good girl, come on, come on, come on. She's really settling into what I call the pocket, which is right off my left leg. I'm starting to develop a lot more confidence in her position, which is one less thing for me to worry about. And then I can worry more about and pay better attention to the actual drills themselves. Ben, I'm gonna have you go on the back side of me for this. Now the step, the next step for us with this will be to stop standing these up. But for now, we're standing them up. Make it easy. It was a lot easier when the ice, when it wasn't ice. Again, heel. Come here. Come here. Come here. Heel. Sit. 
a lot easier when it wasn't ice. So now it's turning to ice, makes our setups a little diff more difficult. Also makes it a little harder on the dog's feet. Be hard to see, because look at all the stuff around it. So I'm gonna be sending from there. So when I look at this, I go, no, that's not a very good spot. Heel, heel, come here. Good, heel. Sit. Yep, stay behind us, Ben. I put it there, it's gonna stand out a lot more against the snow around it, watch. Heel. Keep backing up, Ben. You stay back on that side of us the whole time. Heel. Watch. 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 Heel. Another thing I'm going to do particularly because of that last one, is we're gonna space these out a little bit more. Watch. In that little cue, that little watch cue, I'm looking at her head and she's looking at that dummy, she's looking at that dummy, she's looking right down the row. She's starting to really put thought to, here, 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 sit. She's starting to really put thought to the idea of what watch really means. Watch. You. Good dog. All four of them are beyond the opening of where this where this wood line comes to the trail. Heel. 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 Come on. I'm gonna add a little more distance to it than we have in the past. Now, that's from when Ben has filmed me. We're gonna add distance. I've sent from here the last two days. This is the distance we've, we've run it at. So I can, I can see my boots. I can see where I stood last couple days. I, at one point I sent back there. Heel, heel, sit, do it. The truck just started up by down there and her head went like this. And so we're not gonna send her. You can see how just little subtle things in the environment distract her. So we have to be conscious of it and don't send until she's ready. Watch. Bella, Bella, go back. Good, good, good girl. Two times on her name. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 come on. God, and now I just kick myself because look what I got in her head now. Good girl, come on, come on. It's not the drill, we're not working on that right now, so I have to bite my tongue and go, add it to the list, heel, heel. Add it to the list of things to work on, heel, 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 come on. Change the location, just move back just a touch, here, ah, 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 ah. come on. Sit, sit, sit. Go back. Good. Go back. Go back. Good. Good. Best part about. Come on. Good girl. Best part about that is we got distractions over there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And she can hear it. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. She hears the girls. The girls are at the house calling the other dogs. And good dog. Good dog. And she's got to work past that. Hold. A little loose with the delivery. Hold. Ah, 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 ah. Right here. Right here. Hold. Good. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Real flat. Sit up. Good. Good. Dead. Good girl. So distraction over there. Girls got got here and they're calling the other dogs. And she had to work through it. Sit. And you could tell it affected her. Sit. Good. And she's off. She's not on today at all. She's lethargic. She's a little sluggish. Good. 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 She's hearing the distractions. Heel. Heel. Sit. 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 Good. So we're going to wait. Because right now, if we tried to force our way through this, I guarantee you it wouldn't work very well. She wouldn't do it. She's just not focused. And so there's no reason you got to recognize that and help her through it. Eventually, yeah, these distractions can't throw her off, but not right now. Good. And and admittedly, I'm a little I'm I'm not I wouldn't say I'm short tempered. I'm probably a little frustrated. Cause the last couple of days went really good. And then today's not so good. And I don't blame anyone but myself for most of it. And maybe that's the frustrating part. Now this adds a little bit of a challenge because it puts a heck of a lot more delay into this than what we were normally doing. We got it, the last couple of days we got in a pretty good rhythm here. Boom, she'd come in, look, boom, come in, look, boom. We just wipe these out real quick, real smoothly. This is much choppier. Good, heel, come on, come on, good, sit, good. Watch. Bella, go back. Go back. Go back. Good girl. Very good. Good girl. Good girl. That's a good dog. I'm real glad she decided to pick it and come. Not go look at the next one. Good dog. Hold, hold. A little sloppy today too with the delivery. Right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Good, hold, hold. She's just a little, a little sloppy with a lot of stuff today. Good, right here, right here, right here, right here. Sit, 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 sit. Good, good, dead, dead. Good, come on, come on. And, I, and to be honest with you, I just want to get out of this right now. Come on, heal, heal, heal. Heel. Come on. Come on. Sit. Good. So I'm just moving closer. Make it easier. Watch. Bella, go back. Bella. Right here. Right here. Sit. Sit. All my fault. Center with my fingers crossed. Heel. Come on. Come on. Sit, sit, stay right there, Ben. Heel. Come on. See how sloppy, just stay right there, Ben. See how sloppy her sit was. She kind of side sat a little bit. Sit. Good. Good. She's dialed in now. Bella, go back. Go back. Good. Good girl. Her body language is 100% different. There, I didn't even make her sit. Good dog. Good dog. She sat back here and she's half sitting sideways. and She's just not into it much here today. 
Good dog, right here. Hold, hold, hold. Good, right here, right here. Good, good, good. Right here, right here. I mean, this is real, not, not her typical personality. Did, did, good. So we're gonna end it right there, right here. Come on. Sit, sit. We're gonna be done with that. You know, wasn't very good. Wasn't the worst, we've had worse. Um, it wasn't very good. And it was at, like she just doesn't, she just, she didn't have a lot of zip today. She was real easily distracted. She's a little sluggish. She's a little, I would call her flat. Where the last few days, I've gotten a ton of effort out of her. Day, we did this drill with the older dogs and I used that chunk of woods right here, which is, I mean, it's not little. It's probably 60 yards in diameter. It's kind of a circle. There's a trail that goes through there that kind of sections off this chunk of woods. So it's probably 50, 60 yards wide. Um, just thick brush. This is a strip of brush through here. It's split by that road that we just sent the dog down. So there's another little rectangle shape of, of brush and cover. I would hit tennis balls in, and I'd hit tennis balls into there as far as I could and hit them real high, and dogs had to watch them, a little bit of a marking drill, um, but more of a nose drill. Use your nose, hunt the tennis ball out. So I had her watch that. She didn't go and retrieve any of them, she just sat and watched. So I put her on a remote sit to do it and worked on hitting tennis balls in. And for her, the value was the temptation she had to avoid. She did break, I sent other dogs in. She had to stand still, watch the other dogs work. When the dogs brought the tennis balls back, she had to sit still. So there was a lot of value in it for her. So what I, what I wanna do is I, I need to start developing her nose a little bit as well. <clears throat> because I did see a little bit of a struggle with some of my older dogs, um, Ellie in particular. So we're doing this drill with her more often. So I'm getting a little scent on it. I'm just scenting up this tennis ball, putting my own hands on it. Now, what I'm gonna do is she's gonna sit remote. I need to be where I can see her. And we're just gonna hit it up, but we're gonna do it at a much smaller scale. Instead of hitting it into that big woods, as hard as I can, we're just lobbing it up into there. Now I'm not putting it on the edge. I'm trying to put it at least two thirds of the way into the brush. Because I want her to watch it in, I want her to push into the cover to hunt, and I want her to use her nose. And I want her to stay in this little area and hunt. I don't want her free running all over hell. I want her in this little bit of a consolidated area. It's very similar to what we used to use in that little area over there when the grass was taller. This is just, this is about twice the size of that but it's just a different type of cover because of the conditions with the snow. We put a little time in there. So she, she avoids that temptation. And then when she gets in there, we'll give her a hunt command. See how that little barrier stops her? Loss. 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 See how short she's hunting? She's gonna have to f work this out. As long as her energy's up and she keeps going, I'm just gonna let her go until she gets into the area and then I'll give her a reminder to hunt. She's gotta get this idea of get warmer, colder, hot. Loss, loss, loss. Good dog, good girl. It's giving me a chance to read her body language. Here, 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 here. Hold, good. Nice delivery. See that little bit of tail action from her? A Little bit more energy here. Heel, heel, which is what we needed which is why I liked this drill, because we were gonna end it positive with a little bit more energy instead of that flat. You know, part of that problem too with that drill is now that I think about it is we've run it five, six days out of seven. 
it's getting boring. I do think it's getting boring for her. So yesterday and the day before, I think yesterday I ran it, she did really well. The day before, I don't think I did it with her. I did, I made her watch the old dogs. That was her session for the day. The day before that, she ran it really well. That one in particular. And you know, that was day five and day six, or day four and day six of it. And she really did well with it. And beyond that, I think sometimes we bore them. And so taking a couple days off of it, you know, we didn't have been here to film it. So we, I wanted to show it. That was my thought was show the progress. Well, by doing it so many days in a row, we might've hit that wall. So I'll probably stop doing it for a couple days and I'll come back to it. And we'll see what that energy level looks like after not doing it for a few days. But she'll remember it. It's just, it's not gonna be, oh God, this again. Watch. That one goes in a little bit deeper. I like her steadiness. Good, good. Bella. Again, she's just got to learn to punch in. We'll get there. She's not going to find anything by not punching in. That's the key. We're never going to put a tennis ball on the front end of it. Good. Good. Loss. Loss. Good. Loss. Loss. Good. Loss. As soon as she gets wind, I'm going to let her just work it out. Good dog. Good girl. I'm going to get her that command when she's in the area. When she gets wind of it and I see it in her body language. Here, here, here. When I see it in her body language, then I'll just be quiet. Let her let her work it out. Good. Heel, heel, heel. Sit, sit. We're going to do one more. I'm going to punch it in there again a little bit further. I might move it to the right a little bit. This is going to start to make, and I might even move her heel. Come on, heel. Do it from a different angle. Just mix it up because I don't want her getting flat on me. This will be a complete, we've not centered from this angle before. We did this, we did this yesterday from that same spot. Sit, sit, good, good, watch. That one might be a real challenge. That one's through the cover. That one got all the way through. So we're, it's gonna be a real test for her to see if she'll push through. Bella. Good. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Good. Good. Go back. Go back. Good. I just got to be careful it doesn't go too long. She's still working, she's still working. If I have to, I'll slip another one in. Good. She's gotta get past that halfway point. Good. Ah, 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 ah.
Good. 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 Loss. 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 Good dog. Good dog. Good girl. Right here. Good dog. Good. Good. Again, a little flat today. Good. Good. Here, 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 here. Sit. 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 Good. 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 So we've got that one long one. So here's what I want to do with this. I'm going to help her push in beyond this halfway point. You just stay right there, Ben. I'm going to go right through this stuff with her. Come on. Come on. Good. I'm going to come back right through the stuff. So I'm going to help her push through. I'm going to help her go right through the, the wall that seems to be holding her back. I just went out and pitched the tennis ball. It's about five yards from, this, from that leather one. So we just turned it into a little memory through the cover. Go back. Go back. Go back. Good. Good girl. Good dog. Here. Good dog. Good. Good. Very good. Good. Now, let's send her back in. Here. 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 Heel. Heel. Watch. Bella, go back. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Good. Loss. 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 Very good. Loss. It's down in there. That's a good dog. Good dog. That's a good girl. Very good. Hold, that's a good dog. The most energy I've seen of her. Here, 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 good dog. And I'm probably the happiest I've been today. Good, good, very good. You're done. That's a good dog. So we need to let her, that's enough. So what that did for me was, ended it real positive. You know, we, we went long, she's struggling to get through it. So helped her out, pitched one in there, let her find it. She still had to go halfway, got it, brought it back. Walked through with her, set one down, because you know she's gonna do a trailing memory. She always does trailing memories, especially singles. So we sent her in, and she went right to it, picked it up, we got her to go back, we got her to push through the cover. But the biggest thing was then this last one, was line her up, send her, and tell her to go back. And she's got to go right through that cover she just came from without a reason. She doesn't know that there's one in there. And But what was important was is we timed it. We went real smooth. She went. She delivered. She went. It was, we didn't put any delay in there. Just send her. And I think she went instinctively because she had just come from there successfully. I think it also is flashing back to these drills where we're sending her back. We're sending her back. We're sending her back. This is a much shorter one. Um, the the difficulty is, is we asked her to go through a lot of cover, but we helped her by doing it real quickly following the one that we set up as a trailing memory. It's the same, it's a very similar drill. We're hunting a tennis ball in the cover, but we've now built in the idea of trailing memories. We've now built in the idea of go back to the same spot. We're starting to use some of the skills that she's got to help us get out of some, some sticky spots. That was a sticky spot. We had, we had one that went too far and she didn't, she didn't hunt it out. So we'll call it a win. It's a good session. There's a lot of things that went wrong and it still was a real good session. Um, you know, it's not as good and it doesn't make me feel as good as the ones that we didn't film because I went, man, she's just doing so good. Um, now I go, man, she made a ton of mistakes. 
but I also think not the worst. It's not not um, necessarily a bad thing. I think she did just fine. The mistakes that were made probably were my fault more than hers. So we'll just continue. Now I'm going to mix things up. I'm not going to go back to this exact same drill tomorrow. Um, we'll work on something else in a different spot. Um, work on some sit to the whistles. Um, I want to record the stuff that we do that's new is the only issue. And with Ben being gone, we, we were struggling with that. So we got to figure out how we're going to adjust um, to the recording part of it, but we're not going to just let it fizzle because we've come a, come a nice long way with her. Um, now we just got to figure out how we continue to document it. Um, and we'll figure that out. So good girl. Good.